This is about a fundamental attack on the principle of a free universal health care system. The supposed budgetary saving would impact almost entirely on those who are already struggling. What he's planning to do on, on Medicare is an absolute disgrace. What is it? A disgrace. Co-payments would deter many people from coming for review of their chronic conditions. We know that financial barriers deter just as many necessary visits as unnecessary ones. Our members, 23,000 of our members that I speak on behalf of, plus other workers in low paid industries, if this comes in, are going to make really, really hard decisions. They're going to wake up in the morning, their kid's going to be sick, they're going to be sick, their partner's going to be sick, and they're going to think, oh gee, we went, to the, we went to the doctor last week. I don't know if we can afford this. That, in a country like Australia, is absolutely appalling. This attack on Medicare is just the thin end of the wedge for the neoliberalisation of healthcare in Australia, turning us more and more into a country like America, where decent healthcare is exclusively for the wealthy and serious illness can spell bankruptcy for ordinary workers. The reason Labor in the early 70s introduced uh, Medicare was because Australians could not afford private health insurance. The principle of affordable and free health care for all, no matter your uh, socioeconomic status, where you were born, rich or poor, that is a principle that we have to hang on to with both hands. Last time I looked, we were one of the wealthiest countries in the world. We can afford a universal health system. Start with taxing Gina Reinhart's $20 billion wealth, cutting off handouts to mining companies, stop giving massive tax breaks to the ultra wealthy, cut military spending and stop uh, spending millions, billions of dollars on the persecution of refugees. The other government takes its cues from the privatise everything mantra, which is ideological, but it is also a hardline and very pragmatic commercial agenda. Whether it's about selling Australia Post, whether it's about screwing the minimum wage or attacking the trade union movements who are often the only check and balance against abuse of people on low incomes, in the workplace, whether it's about flogging the beach at James Price Point to the gas industry or to Lake Way up at Waluna to the uranium mining industry, this government in the long and arduous historic struggle between the powerful few and everybody else, this government has chosen a side and it isn't yours and mine. So whether it's education, healthcare, environmental protection, climate change, public transport, no matter what it is, this is all the same struggle. We need to make this a historic one-term government. When the pendulum swings back, and we're already seeing it coming back, it's got to hit them so hard they will never forget it.